quick Excel tip. If you have data in Excel that relates to locations or regions, there are map charts built in. Not everyone has access to these, but most of you probably will. Really easy to put together. You just need a list of the locations and it will plot it into a map. You can style that map however you want. I've done this one with a little shadow effect to make it look cool but there's tons of options available. Now here's the real tip. These charts are not that great at communicating an actionable insight, but they are really good for making your reports more engaging and adding some visual interest. And I have done a bunch of A-B tests in my own reporting where I include a map visual or don't include a map visual. The ones with the map visuals get used more almost every time. This is especially useful if your locations aren't changing much because you can literally just put it in there. I have just dropped in these shapes. This is one of the shape options under the insert tab to add these little pointers in. And then I've just overlaid a rounded rectangle with my data for each location on it. So this is actually filterable. These cards all update, the map doesn't change, but it all still works because our locations are staying the same. So as long as they're consistent, you can work these in and create this really cool effect. I've got a bunch of other videos that go super deep on how these charts work in Excel. If you just search my username and like Excel GeoChart, it'll show up and it talks about all the little details, but the basic concepts are really easy to use yourself. Go try it out. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want the free templates like this one, I send them out on the newsletter. I'm going to send this one out tomorrow, I think. Have a good one. Bye for now, folks.